Mm. We're out. Welcome to Backyard Planking. My name is Charles and it's been a while. It's a long trip, plus the holidays. Before you ask. Ooh, oh, we got that down. That was it. <laughs> was it on? So, yeah, there were a couple of exploding golf balls. It's just going to take me a little while to kind of put all that stuff together. And let me tell you something. 150 yards is a long way. Too far for some of the brake barrels. But you'll get to see that. 150 yards is a long way. Even if you say it fast, 150 yards. Jesus. That's not why we're here. This is. This is from my, actually, Umarex. It's based on the Colt 357. Now, it's a BB only, CO2. And it comes, actually, when you get these things out of the package, three rotary magazines, which are pretty nice. They're easy to load, they're actually easy to put in. The uh, CO2 cartridge. It's right there to the side. A little turn tile at the bottom. And they put the tool inside. Very handy. It's a lot lighter <laughs> than the Python. I can assure you of that, but it feels pretty good. I mean, it's a uh, it's got a big enough grip that's on here. It's narrow enough. If you had a younger individual, they might could kind of ramp up on it some and uh, be able to get around it single or double action. Safety's right here. So when it's on safe, it's just a hammer block is all it is. Pull it down for safe. To put it on fire, you will have to dot the front sight. There is a locking rod that's in there with a handle up here at the front. So what you do is you pull the little handle up, lock it into place. Then, on the one that's full, slide the disc in, give it just a little bit of a twist to make sure that the, the teeth lock in together, release the handle. Then to it. Still getting used to the sights, which are adjustable, by the way. Uh, you do have some uh, up and down adjustments. The screw that's on top, a little bit of wind, it's not much. It's pretty lightweight, and you can find these things on the shelf for anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks. I mean, they're not bad. It depends on where you look, especially with Christmas coming up. Start keeping your eyes open for a lot of different things that are out there. Um, a lot of the sporting goods stores and stuff like that. I think they're, I think they're starting to kind of catch on that, you know, BB guns, pellet guns, stuff like that. Are going to start being a bigger seller and the reason i say that is no matter where you go you're starting to see more and more stuff on the shelf now that for a long time you couldn't get unless you ordered it or <clears throat> you know went somewhere special for it which are few and far between and this thing advertises about 410 feet per second which is I know that's a real worm burner. It's getting after it. But it actually, this one shoots pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, it gets them there. It's it's a lot of fun for the afternoon. The 10 round magazines that come with it makes it a whole lot easier because with the two extra that they send, I mean, you know, you got 30 rounds before you even actually have to stop and try to, try to reload something. 
long as you figure out where to hold it, it pretty much goes where it's supposed to go. Just tearing the bottom of that clay pigeon up. Slowly, but tearing it up. Anyway, I just wanted to show this thing to you. I thought you'd be interested in it. I mean, like I said, you, you can find them on the shelves now. It is from Umarex. Based on a Python 357. Very cool. Yes, there's fixing to be a whole lot of stuff that's coming up, including what happened with the exploding golf balls. It's just going to take me a little while. Anyway, very nice. Colt Python 357. Cool. Next time, my name is Charles. It's been Backyard Blinking.